How do? It's Phil Lord Such here, and today I am playing Eric and the Floaters, which is currently sitting at number 61 in the Yor Sinclair Top 100. Now, for those of you that know that a floater is something you really don't want to find when you go to the bathroom, I really didn't know what to expect for Eric and the Floaters. I'd never played the game, nor had I ever heard it. Ever. Ever heard it. Uh, for those that are watching the video right now, you'll probably be thinking, this is Ruddy Bomberman. And, funnily enough, it is Ruddy Bomberman. Uh, looking on uh, World of Spectrum, uh, Eric and the Floaters was made in 1984 by Hudson Soft, by a Mr. or Mrs., it doesn't say, Y. Tanaka and... Uh, Mr. T. Sasagwa. Now, apologies if I've said your name wrong, gentlemen or ladies. Uh, they also went on to make Bomberman for the Spectrum. Uh, and looking on Wikipedia, Eric and the Floaters is also classed as a Bomberman clone. And it's clearly obvious why that is. The aim of the game is, for Eric and the Floaters, is for you to go around with a bomb and blow up said floating balloons. It's very easy. The controls aren't easy. Uh, the W, A, D, X for up, down, left and right. I'd really like to redefine the keys uh, because the, S key, uh, the X key is a pain in the ass. I'm getting cramp as I'm playing this game. Uh, the space to drop a bomb is okay, but as you go around and get, you find yourself smashing down on the S key for W, A, S, D, which is, as we all know, the universal moving on the keyboard. Uh, but X is down, so you'll see me often stood in a corner wondering why the crapper can't move. But basically, you go around, drop a bomb, and try and pop these balloons, which are quite well placed with their little silly artificial gravity. They'll hover around in a corner, you run over to try and tempt them out with your face, and they'll duck back in or they'll wait. They're very well done. So this game is very enjoyable. Considering it came out back in 1984, it's still going. Graphics do look a bit basic, but you know what? 1984, I'll forgive you. Uh, and I'm enjoying it. The title, though, I don't think I could say, say the title out there in public. What have you been playing today, Bill? Eric and the Floaters. People might think, what? So... I'd probably say a Bomberman clone from the 1984 on the Spectrum. I might get a bit more kudos for that. So, yeah, so if people say what we've been playing, say Bomberman clone, that'd be good. But it's very good. Uh, it's really quite enjoyable. You can see I'm doing quite well. And this is only my real first playthrough on this. Uh, as you go on, the balloons become faster. They seem to get faster. Uh, you start with one balloon, as you can see. And the balloons become faster. There's more balloons. You go wrong, wrong along, dropping bombs, and they go into them. Uh, there are some hidden features behind destructible blocks. Not all the blocks can be destroyed. Uh, so you'll come across every so often uh, a portal. So, so there's a portal for you to get out. So I've just got, oh, I've just got to run into a balloon and die. Uh, and you'll also notice that these mazes aren't the same as you go into it. So as you'll step into a maze, often it looks quite different. So don't expect to be the greatest every time you go in. Very good. If you're not doing anything this afternoon or this morning or this evening, whenever you're listening to this, go and load up Eric and the Floaters. Highly rec recommend it. And remember, if you're speaking to anybody the following day, say, you was playing an early Bomberman clone. People think you're really cool, shit hot and everything else. Don't say you was playing Eric and the Floaters. Because people might think that you've got some weird obsession with playing with your own poo in the toilet. Because that's what a floater is, if nobody knows. But I'm guessing nobody does, of a certain age. Yep, it's good. Anyway, I'm going to go now. Because, you know... I've not got much else to say on Eric and the Floaters, except it's great. So, TTFN, ta-ta for now. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.